As we move across, we've got our frame values and we've got the value of our attribute here. So if we've got frame 10, then frame 15. And of course, remember, we've got the plus equals, which will move that along by a regular increment. We can do that again in this one too. We can select multiples and move them up plus equals two and just move that up by two units. These are really good and they're kind of good just to check what you're on to. So we can see that some of these values are on different keyframes and we can just check to see that they're on integer frames and not on decimal places if we've sort of forgotten to take our key snap off. As we're moving across, this is just frame all. And this guy here will frame to the range slider. So that will just frame to one to 120, or in this case, one to 200, or in this case, down here. So that's quite a handy one. This one will just center the time in the middle. So we can go into there and it's just in the middle. Now we could come right up we can now come over to here and then hit this button that will just frame that, put it in the center pretty easy. And next we're onto tangent. So I'll leave this for the next video and we can see how all the tangent types work.